I'm doing a video that's actually been requested, I think it was quite a while ago now, um, but as time has gone on, I have written down more tips because when someone requested it, I just didn't have enough things in my head to list, I guess. But today's video is going to be tips and tricks for roleplay videos. So the first tip that I will give to you all is plan out your video. So I mean you don't have to because some people just love just making it up as they go along and occasionally I do that as well but I find that when I plan it out um, like scene by scene and clip by clip then I have a much better quality video and it's done and it looks much more organized and professional but that could just be my opinion and I may do a separate video on how I plan my roleplay videos because I came up with my own kind of method of planning them and I really love how they turn out that way so I may show that in another video if you guys are interested let me know in the comments down below the second tip that I would give you guys is camera angles and sound quality. If so, if you do use a phone or if you use a camera, no matter what you use, you probably should have a tripod because it's a lot easier to position the camera the way you want it to at different angles and things like that. And it just makes the video so much more interesting with all different camera angles um, of the baby moving or whatever you may be doing in the video and sound quality so I know that some people um, their sound quality like on their phones or whatever they use to record may not be the best but that's fine but you may want to kind of figure out either in your editing software or when you're talking to your camera you know because some for instance some microphones on cameras they can be overwhelmed very easily so if you talk too loud or you're too close to it then it will like make this staticky noise kind of if you guys know what I mean um, and then some microphones you can hardly hear anything at all so you have to speak up so basically whatever you're using just kind of learn you know how your microphone works whether it needs sounds to be closer and louder or they need to be farther away from the camera the next tip i have for you guys is make a personality for your baby so as we all know these are non-living things if you want your role play to be realistic you probably should give your baby at least a little bit of personality um when i do my role play videos i try to kind of describe how babies' personality is, what they like, maybe what they don't like sometimes, um, sometimes how old they are, what milestones they've met or haven't met, or I'm hoping they'll meet soon, things like that. So give your baby a personality. For example, for Adelie here, little Adelie does not like car rides, so she usually cries in the car, and that's just part of her personality. And most of the time for me, the personality of the doll just comes to me and most of the time it's in their expression. Once I start working with them in roleplay videos, um, I kind of get their personality like, you know, I don't know, I get in the creative mood and their personality just kind of comes to me as I um, am talking about them sometimes. And also along with that, um, interact with your baby or act like you're interacting with your baby is what I mean because um, with a real baby you know you would talk to them you would smile at them you would you know you would react to whatever they're doing when I first started roleplay videos two years ago um, I I remember I used to not really interact with the baby like I just used to go through the motions of like whatever a morning routine was like you know I'd get the baby breakfast and get them this and get them that but I wouldn't really talk to them or interact with them on camera so that's another way that it makes it feel more realistic it makes it seem like you have a connection with your baby and therefore it makes your baby seem more real the next tip that I would give you all is 
that there are a couple of baby items that you can reuse. So for example, um, diapers. So what I will do while I'm changing them is I will take the diaper off of the baby and then I will take the diaper out of the frame and then I will fold it up really quick to make it look almost brand new or pretty much new and I will put it back in the frame and put it on the baby and then it looks like a new diaper but it's actually the same diaper and that way you're not wasting diapers and if you want to put a different print diaper on your baby then you can get a new diaper but fold that one up and save it and another thing that you can reuse um, is wipes so you can get a small wipe case um, that's like they have them at the dollar store for like a dollar or two and so I have one of those and what I'll do is I will take a tiny little stack of wipes like about two wipes out of like my water wipes is what I use now um, I used to use pampers but now I use water wipes and I will take them and I will put them in the little wipe holder and then um, I will leave it open and see it will dry because you do not want to really put anything wet on your doll anyway so I will let the water wipes dry and then I will just close the wipe case and it you can't see that they're not wet you know so then I will just when I need to do a diaper change or whatever I will take one of the wipes out and it will be dry and then I'll use it and then I can fold that up and put it back in the wipe case as well I guess also within that would be like formula because I've had some people actually a lot of people recently um, ask me if I use real formula in my baby bottles or what I use what I did was I bought a bottle of fabric softener and I believe I bought downy um, and they look pretty much like baby formula so if you guys have ever seen my bottles before hold on let me get one so there's that and like I said, I've bought one bottle in the last couple of years. The last thing that I will tell you guys, or at least suggest, and of course, none of these things are a you must do, but you know, just tips and tricks. But this last one is be original. And I know that's harder and harder to do, but I mean, you can always just put a spin on it of some kind, you know, like we all do morning routines if we love role play, you know, a lot of people do night routines and things like that. But try to make yours unique in some way. And like I said about the baby's personality and you interacting with the baby, that is a big part of making it unique. Or if you do multiple different morning routines like I do, um, I'm always trying to find some way to set that morning routine or whatever routine I'm doing apart from all of the other role play videos that I've done. Um, for example, I had never seen anyone do a like morning walk in their role play video before. So I started doing that and actually I've done it in I think like three different role play videos now. And I really love it. I love to do it. I love going outside and doing a little bit of filming. So that's just one thing that I like to add to my videos. Um, so you know, think of something else that you may build into a real baby's routine um, to make your role play video or routine unique. I think that that is all of my tips for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just talking, but lately I have been on a roll with the tips and tricks videos, but you guys seem to really like them, so I just thought that I would do one for you all today. Thanks for watching everyone.